Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. On today's episode of Style Diaries, I'm doing something a little bit different. So last November, I took a trip of a lifetime. I wanted to just treat yourself. You know, it was like a, it was a treat yourself trip to Paris. And I took my photographer with me and I went shopping at Chanel. It was my first time doing luxury shopping in Paris and I wanted to share with you what I got, my experience, and yeah, show you the goodies. So if you're interested in seeing what I got and some tips about luxury shopping, please keep watching. So, how are you guys doing? I feel like if you follow me on Instagram, you kind of like know what's been going on and that I did take this like trip to Paris in the fall of 2021. And it was like right before Omicron came in so it was like the perfect time to do traveling I was like going everywhere and I just was like on a whim on a Wednesday told Taylor my photographer I was like do you want to go to Paris and she was like of course and I just was thinking about it looking at tickets they were so cheap um, I think I got both of our tickets for under $900 and it was done by Friday. We got our tickets and we were going to Paris in less than a month. I have friends that live over there. And so I kind of felt like this trip, I wanted to do things that I've always wanted to do when I was in Paris. I've always wanted to stay at the certain hotel, at the Hotel Plaza Athene. I wanted to buy my first Chanel bag. And I decided, why not? Why not? So I planned and I budgeted. I just have to say, this is luxury shopping, not gonna lie, it is a pretty penny. But I was very fortunate uh, to hit some financial goals, um, going full time with my influencing content creator career. And I wanted a treat yourself moment. I never, ever, ever splurge on myself. I love buying gifts for other people, but I was, even when I got there, I was just like, maybe I don't need to do this. And I'm like, just do it, just do it. And I'm so glad I did because the purchase is more than just buying a luxury designer bag. Um, it, it signifies like the year that I've gone through, um, struggling to find my way back to a creative spot, but not only finding myself again, but having success and, being really happy in where I'm at as a content creator and seeing that it's real, that you can do this as a career and be successful. And this was my gift at the end of the year kind of thing. So anyway, we go to Chanel and I dress up like it's a whole thing. Of course I have to. Um, so I'm going to leave some pictures of me dressed up walking <laughs> to Chanel and my I had, a, I had an idea of what I wanted already. I wanted to get the iconic flat bag, which is the design that Karl Lagerfeld created back in the 80s. It's not the original design that Coco Chanel created um, because the leather is a little bit different. Um, it's calfskin leather versus the lambskin, which is what I got. So, ah, when you walk into Chanel, First of all, there's a guy that just like opens the doors like, so then you just like walking in and they're like, bonjour, madame, bonjour. This is Paris, y'all. So they're speaking French all the time, okay? <laughs> it is the language of the country. So yeah, I was like, bonjour. I, I would love to do some shopping and I have something in mind. And so they put me with the most perfect person, salesperson, I could have possibly have been connected with. Um, she was just so, her name is Anne. So if you go to Paris and you go to the Chanel on Avenue Montaigne, please go and requ request Anne. She was the best. Um, she took her time with me. She allowed me to look around, but I told her like, I didn't think it was gonna be so long. This was an all day event. Don't think that you're just gonna like pop in and pop out. It was a whole thing and I loved it. Give me all the dramatics, right? So, um, 
I tell her the bag that I want. I have an idea of like a boy bag or the iconic flap. I, I wanted to see what the boy bag looked like. I'll, I'll leave a picture of what the boy bag looks like in the iconic flap bag. And she brought them out. She was telling me all about the history behind the bag and the design and everything. So it just made me more excited. And she took her time with me. She wasn't trying to rush me. She brought out the bag so I can touch and feel. Um, I decided early on that no, I don't want the boy bag. I want um, the iconic flap because it's iconic, you know, it's so classic. And I got to try on different sizes. So I knew I didn't want the small because no. <laughs> so I thought the medium was going to do the trick. Um, but when I was wearing the medium strap, it just didn't hit me the right way if I wore it as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. It was like hitting me like right underneath and I didn't want to rub against that lambskin, you know, leather because that is so fragile. You know, for such an expensive luxury bag, the lambskin is, you have to take care of it. And even though it does, it's not as durable as, not that it's not durable, um, like you'll see scratches more on the, on the lambskin. It's, it's just more softer, you know, but it's so cushiony and beautiful and I can't wait to show you guys. Um, so then I decided to wear the large one. The large strap was perfect. I could wear as a shoulder bag perfectly over my arm and as a crossbody. So after deciding to get that, oh, let me show you. Okay. So I, ooh. This is the box that comes in. It actually, they were so nice. I was staying at the Plaza Athene, which was literally around the corner. And that was a, a story time in itself <laughs> about staying at that most amazing hotel. Um, and when I was done shopping, it was raining. And so I didn't want to walk back to my hotel with um, like my new Chanel in the rain. And they were like, oh no, 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 no we'll have it delivered to your hotel room. So when I got home that evening, I was welcomed back into my beautiful hotel room in the balcony, like looking outside and seeing the Eiffel twinkle and my new Chanel purchases. So this is, it came in a Chanel bag with the flower and all tied and all the paper, but obviously I traveled from Paris with this and I wanted to wear it in Paris, so I did all the unboxing there. But I definitely kept the box. I traveled with this from Paris. It was, it was a thing, it was a thing. So the price, okay? The price of this is in euros. It was, for the large, it was 8,500 euro. And, and I know, it's, it's a lot. I, I planned this out. Not that I need to explain myself, it's my money, but <laughs> it was something that I knew going into was an investment. This is a statement. Chanel bags have increased in their price three times in one year. I remember when I first wanted a sh the Chanel bag, it was only $2,000 back in like 2012. So it has gone up in price a lot and it's it plans on doing it again and it's because I was asking about that I was asking like why does the price keep going up if the if it's the same and they said that the um the lambskin like having to go about and getting the lamb it's a certain type of um process to take care of those lambs to remove the leather and that whole process needs to be maintained in order for the quality and because over time it's been harder or the prices have gone up to maintain that process that's why the pro the the price of the bag goes up and I'm like wow like let me get this bag before it goes up again and after I bought it it went up I'm not buying another Chanel bag that's it that's it so anyway this is so cute this is a dust bag it comes in I keep her like locked away like I don't want her to be like outside of regular air um and then I open it up and I also take the little dust just to protect it while it's in the box so this is her she is beautiful 
So like I said, this is the large and Coco Chanel, when purses for her were life, they, they completed the outfit and her design, um, this is the classic iconic. So when you open it up, it has a zipper here and then it also has this flap. This is the iconic flap because Coco Chanel loved her privacy. And when you open up your purse, you know how you have, anyone can see what's in your bag. She specifically wanted a flap to, when she opened her purse, she could protect the contents inside. And I like a woman of mystery. I consider myself a woman of mystery, even though my career is about sharing my life online. I like a little bit of mystery. Okay, so that's the original design that they kept in the 80 remake that Lager Film made. And then you take the paper. I keep everything in here. I wanna keep it pristine, okay? So then you have the beautiful embossing of the Chanel logo inside. And this is the classic burgundy interior that you'll only find in this bag. The inside of this bag will be the burgundy and this is Coco's design. Madame Chanel, so cute. So when I wanted to show you just inside, but I just thought it was so cute learning about this, the history. There is a lipstick holder, that middle flap right here, that's to hold your lipstick and that's just a nod to Madame Chanel because she was all about her lipstick. Lipstick was life. And I just, it's just so beautiful. It has also in the interior, you see this gold embossing, well, um, metal piece here. That is your serial number. When you purchase um, a Chanel bag, you have a five year warranty on the purse itself and you they give you so much education on how to take care of your bag because they know it's an investment piece and they want to make sure that you're taking care of it and then you enjoy it um but at the same time you don't you also don't want to be afraid to use it because what's the point of buying something that you're so afraid to mess it up um so i've enjoyed using this on special occasions so far and special shoots and I absolutely love it. So the five-year warranty, like they literally give it to you right then and there when you do your purchasing and they, um, it gets emailed to you, it's documented, they give you a serial, um, they email you with all this stuff. So it's very, very legit. If I ever wanted to sell her, like I have like all the authentic authentication and everything, um, including the bags. I, I brought the bags with me <laughs> from Paris because I wanted, just in case if I wanted to sell, I don't think I will, but um, just for the memories. I'm so glad I got it. This means just a lot of hard work. I've been doing influencing content creation since 2012 and I went full-time March of 2021 and it, I just never thought I could get to the point where I could not only make this my full-time career, but be able to do stuff like this. I would never have been able to do this like <laughs> as a nurse. <laughs> no offense to like working as a nurse. It supported me this entire time and helped me make that transition. But this just means like, man, you did it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Like you did it. So I got this and that's all I planned on getting, but Anne, and it was good. And it was so good at, I had such a great job she, um, time there. She brought us to a separate room and like gave us champagne and it was a whole thing. And I was just like, I just want to stay here forever. Show me what else. And so I always wanted the classic Chanel slingbacks. You know what I'm talking about? They're the cap toe slingback and it's the perfect everyday heel and it can be dressed up or dressed down. And I was just so ecstatic when just being there and enjoying myself, I thought, why not? Um, so I tried it on, which was my first mistake because it fit like a glove. So these are the shoe box of the slingbacks. I got, I'm a US 10, so this is a size 41. It 
come like this and each <laughs> each shoe has its own dust bag like how bougie is that i love bouginess i love it so i was just too excited to get everything in like style and outfit with my new pieces that i basically had an engagement shoot <laughs> with my new chanel pieces so these are the slingbacks they are the classic they're um two no three inches and they're so cute it has the classic chanel logo there and then on the back and i love the little embossing of the cc right on the heel i i had a budget of 10 so i figured the bag was under <laughs> i was like i still I still had some to like in my budget. So I got this and I'm so glad I did because I've always wanted these. I, I definitely want to get the stiletto heel of this. It's just like a four inch heel of the exact same style. But this is so great. You could wear these with jeans, how I styled them. Um, you could wear it with, the, with skirts, dress it up, dress it down. It's such a great pair of heels classic if you're into investment pieces this is one to get for sure i haven't opened this since i i bought it like i picked it out i wanted to get something that was timeless that i can wear all the time and so it's never been opened since. so this is how it was packaged it's so so pretty we have the little chanel there it's so pretty so it's in this beautiful little velvet pouch with the Chanel logo there and you unwrap it here and it's this gorgeous pearl brooch that I felt was just such a classic way an easy way to add a little pizzazz to any outfit um, I would love to wear this just with like a white button down and what I like to do I have this is my second Chanel brooch um, is to cluster them and wear a bunch of brooches at the same time and give it like a real like powerful um, embellishment but this is just a classic with pearls it is so pretty this was 500 euro um, and it was this was my first choice. They, she showed me some other ones that were huge and bigger, but I feel like this is a good size that um, I could wear it if I want it kind of like a bolero tie and wear it with a white button down right in the middle. Or like I said, cluster it with a bunch of different brooches for a more embellished look. So those are all the pieces that I got. Um, I also wanted to share that when you buy luxury in Europe, the prices have taxes included. So when you see the prices stateside, you'll see them a lot higher. Um, so what ended up happening, every time I did shopping, I went to Gucci too and I bought a Gucci belt there. Um, they asked for your passport and they fill out all this paperwork so that you can get a tax credit because you already pay for the taxes here when you go back to America like you can get your, your money back. So you basically save a whole bunch of money on luxury stuff. So like for my Chanel bag, I got $1,400 back. And for my Gucci belt, I got like a couple hundred dollars and the same thing for my shoes and the brooch. So they give you some paperwork when you get to the airport in Paris, you have it scanned and they it's all electronic. And in a couple of weeks, I had the money refunded in my bank account. So that was a nice little tidbit that I wanted to do it in Europe because I knew about the tax credit. And when you come back though to the States, just FYI, if you, I'm not saying don't be honest, but if you're honest, like I was, you're gonna put out a pretty penny for um, duty, cause they'll try to get you that way. So, 
because I, um, I had given them like the amount of money that I spent, they charge you. And that was a, I wasn't even irritated with the fact that I had to pay for duty fees. I was irritated about how long it took and they, how they made me feel like a criminal. Like they, it wasn't, they just made me feel like suspicious about, about that. And, um, I was there for an hour coming through customs to go through that. So that was a little bit annoying, but in the back of my head, I was like, man, if I wasn't an honest person <laughs> and said I didn't spend this amount of, m amount of money, you wouldn't pay duty fees. But I'm not saying that you should do that. I'm not saying that, but I'm just letting you know. <laughs> All right, so that's it. If you guys have any questions about luxury shopping at Chanel in Paris, please let me know. Um, I would love to answer any of your questions, and if I don't know them, I will find out for you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Until then, please stay lovely. Bye.